Today is our recovery, final recovery day before Europe's Strongest Man. Every Wednesday I see Neil Rudy, who's an alternative health practitioner. He does some bits and pieces to my body, makes sure everything's aligned and kind of adjusted properly. So I saw him at 7 o'clock this morning. It's now 9 a.m. Um, Ross has kindly driven up as he does majority of Wednesdays um, up that A9, a horrible A9, um, to see us and run a clinic from from here, from where we are at the moment. So Ross has got a busy day. Unfortunately, Tom has to isolate still, so he's not going to be able to, well, hopefully Tom won't be in if he has to isolate. Who knows with Tom? We'll get my body kind of up and running, a little bit of work on my bicep tendon, some knees. Obviously, come the weekend, we've got a heavy log press, so need to make sure everything is firing on all cylinders and Ross is the man for that so enjoy my squealing like a little piggy Sweet for you, not been working but you managed to take up What are we working on today Ross? Uh, we're going to strip out the rotator cuffs and have a look at the biceps as well um, just make sure it looks Ticking over nicely for this week. At first, just kind of check all the muscles are moving in the way they should be before we start. What's the point of this rock blade? It's to stretch out the muscles, stretch out the tissues. Uh, it helps me find any kind of knots in the muscle and it helps just put more pressure against the muscles just to stretch it out that little bit more. So the benefits of cupping are to bring stagnant blood to the to the area um, in the muscle and they also help out flush out toxins and <coughs> lact lactic acid. So um, stick them on areas which are really tight. Um, on assessment of the muscles and we leave them on for about five minutes just to help bring the, all the stagnant blood out. You'll start to see the colours going a lot darker um, in these specific areas that we've put them on. So as you can see on here the chart we have kind of healthy blood circulation, moderate stagnation, severe stagnation and congestions and toxins. We usually see look round about moderate to severe. Stagnation means the blood is basically staying in the muscle and it's not moving so the cupping uses a negative pressure to bring it to the surface and allows the blood flow to circulate around the, around the, the muscles. So you can see here uh, the dark colours coming out in the the cupping, um, and we'll take this one off as well. So, as you can see on the chart, we're kind of in this area here, moderate to severe, and this will start to kind of disappear in colour. And what we'll do is do a wee bit of massage over it, just to help stretch it out again. At the time, I thought that's what I looked like. Oh, oh. 
Massage, it's nice. Just massage, physio session done with Ross. Today, Ross was working on kind of getting me ready for, for Europe's Strongest Man. So, we worked on rotator cuffs, uh, tendons, which I suffer from. So, my, my bicep tendons when I start uh, pressing heavy logs, my knees as well, my log press technique. I'm very explosive in my legs, so it puts, generates quite a lot of force through my knees. Just need to make sure they're okay. Yeah, great to have Ross coming up and kind of working working on us. It's um, yeah one of the most important things with the recovery aspect. So big shout out to Ross for coming up as he does every Wednesday. So we're now down in the, the gym, the Stolton Strength Centre. My last week we've got deload sessions. So this is also, I guess, as part of my recovery. So we're going to go through that. Um, very light today. So I've got three sets of three uh, 100 kilo squats, three sets of three push press, 100 kilos some box jumps and uh, some core work at the end as well um, some hollow holds and then after that I'm going to do some sauna work get that extreme heat I'll get hosed down by Simon as part of my cold stuff as well so I'm really looking forward to that and then that's basically my recovery done we'll go on and get our deload session done final one of the week and it's time for Europe's Strongest Man after easy So that's our squats done, um, three sets of three, 100 kilos. Just nice and easy, nothing too exciting, but it keeps the, the body firing. It makes me want to lift a lot more than 100 kilos. On to push press. As I've said, this is our deload week, or my deload week. Um, the reasons for this are because I'm competing on Saturday, which is in, in three days. So if I'm not doing any movement, if I'm just sat around not training, my muscles aren't getting that kind of, it's almost uh, taking them out for a, a trial run, almost, you know, just keeping them keep, keep them warm and stuff. So, say like a, a track car, you know, you do maybe a couple of kind of warm up sessions before, do that every day just to keep the car ticking over the engine going. And that's what I see kind of the deload week is, um, it's very similar to that. So it's just keeping my engine, which is my body, um, ticking over um, and then ready you know, this is very light stuff for us. Keeps that aggression alive as well. And you're thinking, right, I just can't wait till something heavy. So then come Saturday, you know, and right, Europe's strongest man, that's when you can unleash the beast. press done so now we're gonna do five sets of three box jumps
Oh my god. No. <laughs> I got scared, bro. That's the last box jump done. Five sets of three. Now we're on to some core stabilization. Let's keep it going. Mate. What is this? It's uh, hollow holds. The look way of doing it. So you're supposed to make a V basically and hold yourself as long as you can for 30 seconds, but I struggle sometimes because if it was easy, everybody would do it. Recovery almost finished. That was a deal session just finished off. Um gonna jump in the sauna, uh, the cold tub is getting cleaned out at the moment so we've got the hose out so just going to spray myself with the cold water um, or Simon is and then do a few rounds of extreme heat and then with the cold as well um, and then probably later on for sunset I'll go out for a swim in the sea as well just to get that mental kind of clarity and the mental reset so I'm jumping the sauna and then get hosed down by Simon what more can a man want? Oh. <laughs> That's the recovery session done, the final um well, the final deload session for me before Europe Strongest Man. Well, first of all, 7 o'clock this morning, I saw Neil Rooney, alternative health practitioner. So, spent an hour with him. He was kind of realigning the body, doing some tests, just to make sure everything's firing the way it should be. Thankfully, it went quite well. He was happy with everything. Then, that was 7 till 8. Then, 9 till 10 was with uh, Ross, who we filmed from Caledonia, um, Caledonia Clinic. So he worked on the, the kind of hands-on approach with my tendons, rotator cuffs, making sure they're firing all okay. Knees as well, um, as we've discussed earlier, you know, going for the max log. Um, it's going to be a really heavy log we're going for. Just need to make sure everything's kind of covered, everything's checked off. So this is me um, going through my list now and making sure everything's ticked off um, for the competition. So this is what I've got to do. So recovery hot and cold, uh, diet's got to be on point. Um, the deload session's got to be kind of on point as well. So my beautiful assistant Simon hosed me down um, quite elegantly, I might add, uh, which felt quite nice. Um, and then now it's time to go home. I'll do some uh, Myomaster. I got my leg sleeves. I'll put those leg sleeves on as well. Apply Nordic uh, Muscle Rub. All, all these little things I've said, I've said throughout the video, kind of add to being, you know, the best prepared I can be at uh, Europe's Strongest Man. Europe's Strongest Man is one of the biggest titles to have in Strongman. Um, and fingers crossed I'll go into the plan, you know, we can take that title home and um, smash it. And that's it. So that is the recovery day done. Hope you guys learned something. If you didn't, keep watching the videos anyway. 
because I'm sure you'll learn something about something. The news is out, you know, Tom tested positive for COVID after kind of going down to Glasgow at the weekend there, so unfortunately Tom wasn't competing uh, at Europe's Strongest Man, which is, yeah, a bit of a scanner for us, you know, Tom wanted to get down there and it's a massive title for Tom. Um, but again, we have to kind of follow rules and protocols and stuff and uh, Tom, Tom and Snake had to both isolate. I've been, I was testing myself continuously last week just to make sure I hadn't been around Tom and caught it. So thankfully, all my tests were coming back negative. I was able to compete in Europe's Strongest Man. And yeah, just a bit of a shame that these things happen. That's the current climate we live in at the moment. I think it's about trying to be prepared as much as we can, looking after our body, protecting our immune system, you know, taking the right supplementation, vitamins, minerals, Improving our immune system is one of the, the biggest things that we can do, I think, to protect ourselves against not just COVID, but from anything. Um, and I would encourage anyone in the world watching this, if you can do that to your body, prepare yourself for anything, um, improve your immune system, eat well, train right, have that positive mindset, and love one another. That's all. Just be nice. Um, and that's it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. What's Tom's stay, stay, smile, stay spicy? No, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell, guys. Ding a ling a ling a ling. -a -ling.